From forests to sheep, yaks and mushrooms, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has been Bhutan's partner in development in agriculture for over 50 years now. And it all began in 1972 when FAO assisted in a UNDP-funded project for general development. That same year, Bhutan implemented the Sheep and Yak Development Project in Ha and the Integrated Forest Management and Conservation Project. Soon, the partnership grew to include many different projects and regions of the country. All of these projects were guided by the vision of achieving two main goals. Food security, which includes food quality, food safety, increasing local food production and encouraging the rational use of fertilizers. And two, sustainable forest management, which includes operational, informational and management support. FAO's activities in the country are designed to achieve these goals by utilizing FAO's technical expertise, building local capacities and, wherever possible, creating employment and sustainable opportunities within the country. In the 50-plus years of partnership, FAO has supported the government in drafting numerous technical and policy documents, such as the Food and Nutrition Security Policy and the National Forest Policy. It has organized numerous trainings for local farmers, agriculture workers and government officials. This long-standing partnership and FAO's projects have helped shape Bhutan's current food and forestry situation. For example, to reduce hunger and poverty in rural areas, FAO supported the government in developing guidelines for harvesting and managing non-wood forest products NWFPs. These products have played a critical role as a food safety net and source of income for most rural Bhutanese. To support the government in improving food security, FAO provided technical and financial assistance to conduct chain analysis on key produce such as maize, rice, potatoes, citrus, chilies, apples, yaks, etc. FAO also supported the government in drafting the Bhutan National Food Security Strategy Paper which has guided the government on its food security policy. FAO's capacity building trainings are provided to local farmers, agriculture workers and government officials and they have enabled Bhutanese to venture into innovative farming practices and agribusinesses. In 2007, FAO was requested to review the effectiveness of current forest policies and legislation in Bhutan to advise on the formulation of a new strategy. FAO's approach to developing this new strategy was to put the people in the lead role. The 2011 National Forest Policy was therefore built on sound principles of conservation balanced with utility and benefits derivation for communities. This approach of balancing use and conservation is directly in line with Bhutan's long-standing practices of sustainable environmental policies. Over the years, FAO has also expanded its scope of support to include various aspects of animal health. When the first cases of avian influenza was detected in the south of Bhutan in 2010, FAO and the World Bank offered urgent support to the government. FAO provided equipment, funding and technical support to ensure the influenza did not spread into the rest of the country. With FAO's support, the government used lessons from the outbreak to develop the National Influenza Pandemic Preparedness Plan NIPPP. Similarly, in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic exposed fractures in Bhutan's food systems. FAO responded by supporting the Bhutan government to develop a food systems assessment as well as plan out a national pathway to achieve food systems for gross national happiness. These stories of success and the observance of over 50 years of FAO support to Bhutan is an opportunity to take stock of what has already been done and what more remains. During these five decades, Bhutan has vastly improved its food and nutritional security and forestry management situations. But Bhutan is also now more urban than ever before and it faces the triple burden of malnutrition as well as the pressure to ensure the robustness of its economy as it graduates from LDC status. Bhutan's place in the third pole makes it uniquely vulnerable to climate change impacts. FAO is committed to supporting the Bhutanese government meet these challenges guided by its principles of the four betters. Through better production, better nutrition and better environment, Bhutanese all over the country can live a better life. Bhutan joined FAO's flagship program, the Hand in Hand Initiative in 2021, which will promote new ideas and innovations to transform agri-food systems in the country. 
Guided by the country programming framework, FAO helped Bhutan build capacity in strategic direction and leadership in agriculture, as well as transform the sector towards value-based and market-oriented production. It supported the organizing of the Bhutan Agri-Food Trade and Investment Forum to connect Bhutanese producers with international partners and investors in 2024. It has mapped and reviewed Bhutan's agroecological zones and farming systems. This research will now allow the government and FAO to invest more efficiently in improving farmer lives and incomes through projects such as the Yakwu Diversification Project in Ha and the Peri Urban and Urban Farming Project, which will ensure Bhutan's fast urbanizing farming population bounces back from the COVID-19 pandemic. And the EU technical assistance for agri-food systems will offer much needed technical and logistical support to various parts of the agricultural system from farmers to government officials. And building on the lessons of COVID-19, FAO will work with the royal government to build Bhutan's future epidemic preparedness through the Pandemic Fund project. By understanding the goals of food security and forestry management at a deeper level, FAO is able to directly work at various levels of Bhutan's agricultural system. At each level, FAO works with relevant partners, building local capacities, building databases and research to help build a truly robust and food secure future for Bhutan.